Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the new Rome Renegade, Rene Rinnekongas' Pro Model for 2024. This board features Rome's stay positive camber, which is good old fashioned traditional camber. So from contact point to contact point, you have that arc. That's gonna give you all the load pop, snap and drive out of this board. This board's available in 153, 156, 159, 157 wide, and 160 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day. It was warm, slushy, a little bit firm, fast corduroy, soft corduroy, chunky corduroy, death cookies, chop, chunder, kind of a mix of everything. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This board's stiff. It reminds me of old school cambered boards back from my childhood. It's that stiff. Yeah, you get a little bit more play in the nose than you do in the tail, and so there's a very minimal sweet spot. Stiffens up through the middle. Torsional flex, when you twist it, it rebounds aggressively. Overall, I would put this at just below one of the stiffest freestyle boards on the market. It's stiff, in case you haven't caught that. So way past middle of the road but it's not a full on plank. When it comes to stability, when you're in soft snow, it plows through everything. You don't have to worry about it. It's just pushing it right to the side and it keeps on going. When you get into firmer stuff, it sort of just skips across the top of it. So you wanna keep your knees bent and be a little more calculated because if you're not, this thing's gonna shit whip you. You're gonna get thrown to the ground. It's one of those boards that isn't overly damp. It isn't going to try to protect you basically if you get all willy-nilly and charge through a mogul field of death. I don't know why you're charging through mogul fields of death, but maybe you want to be one of those people that does. Yeah, not going to end well for you. With this board being full camber and having rods in the tail, when you go to load it up, it will rebound. Now at slower speeds, it's kind of underperforming. This board comes alive when you're hauling ass. So go fast, load aggressively, roll back on that tail and watch it spring. If you're hoping to be laid back and still get that same level of pop, it's not gonna happen. It's just not. But you wanna get fast and loose, you wanna ollie over that family of fat skiers and then spray their descendants, you can do it with this thing. You just gotta haul ass. The same can be said with jumps. Now, if you don't know who Rene Rinacongas is, you should probably look it up. Or as I've been calling him, Rene Rinalamas, like Lorenzo Lamas from that TV show, Renegade. If you catch that reference, you're awesome. If you don't, pfft whatever. With jumps, you can let the lip throw you, it'll get the job done. You come in hauling ass, you load up, you're gonna pop to the moon. This board's gonna just send you. The bigger the feature, the better. You wanna air over that whole hip? Go for it. Gonna go hit the big line and take it deep? You got this. Gonna go hit a small jump with your family and be laid back? No, no, you're not gonna do that at all. That's not what this is for. The flex of this board coupled with the camber profile fight you when you try to butter. You got that very minimal sweet spot in the nose and the tail, and that's what you gotta aim for. You're gonna leverage all your weight outside the binding, really push into it, and then leverage even further, and it's gonna engage. And unless you know how to manhandle this thing, it's not gonna be a deep butter, and it wants to spring out of everything you do. It's gonna fight you the whole time, so be aware of that. When it comes to jibbing, it's a slope style board. You gotta use speed and power to press it. You're basically landing on that rail full speed, flexing it into that nose or tail press and popping right out because that board's gonna rebound. And when you go sideways because it's so stiff, it basically does a balancing act on it. It doesn't really like cradle around it, it just sort of hugs it mildly. And that's what you get with it. If you don't know how to jib at high speeds, this probably isn't the board for you. What's great about the flex of this board coupled with that camber profile is you get power. You lightly engage it outside your front foot, but it really drives from inside the front foot back through the tail. So it's not completely back foot dominant when you're driving a carve. You're kind of just flexing your front knee towards the center while you're driving that back one in. So you're center flexing the board and that will let you dig a trench. When this thing's on edge, it's on edge. You can rip a turn. When you get up to speed, this board comes alive. At slower speeds, it's a bit of a chore to get it to turn and you just find yourself struggling. But when you start hammering this thing and going as fast as you can, you're ripping turns, you're in and out, you're slingshotting out of that turn, you're popping off that roller, laying back on that edge, Euro carving around a family. That's what you need to know with this board is it's just not designed for those that are gonna be weak and pussyfooted. Who's this board for? The guy that wants to go fast, turn to the left and boost off everything. Shake and bake, baby, go fast. 
So if you wanted something a little softer, you go with the Freaker, which was the previous pro model for Rene Rinnekongas. If you want something stiffer, more aggressive, and a throwback to old school boards, this is it. I'm not a fan of the dampening on this board. It's just not enough. I felt so much kinetic energy coming up underfoot. It was really fatiguing me. This board just took me for a ride. It's an aggressive deck. You have to know how to ride camber, and there's a lot of you out there that don't know how to ride full traditional camber. I know, because I see your comments down below. People need to learn, sinners. But what this board does is it gives a throwback style, raw power, fast and loose riding, just aggression, pure aggression. And I like it for that. It's solid. It's got some great tech in it from Rome. You get those rods in the nose and the tail, and they give you that rebound. Overall, I can't state enough how much fun this board is, but if you're looking to make this your daily driver and want to be lazy and laid back, probably not going to be the board for you. Comparable boards, the Nitro Beast, the Ride Algorithm, the Amplid Singular. Binding recommendations, the Rome Cleaver, the Nitro Team Pro, the Now Select Pro. This has been my review of the Rome Renegade. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.